Hey, how's it going guys? I hope you're doing well. In this quick video I'm going to show you my settings, how to get more FPS, optimize chivalry on a fairly old system. So I'm using an old GPU RX 580 with only 4 gigs of VRAM and I'm using an old CPU which is FX uh, AMD 8000 something. It's a very old one. And as you can see, I'm kind of getting 60 FPS constantly. Now, Chivalry is not a very demanding game, but I'm going to show you my settings just in case that this might help you. And I'm also going to talk a couple about a couple of settings to help you play a little bit more competitively. So if we go to options, under the game tab, we have settings such as auto sprint and attack direction from movement input now both of these enabled i find them very useful because you don't have to worry about pressing the alt key on your keyboard to change the way your attacks uh, from which side your attacks come from so this will depend on your movement so if you're moving to the left and you slash you get one type of attack if you move to the right you get another one etc now crouch toggle this is a personal preference i have it disabled full gore also personal preference now when it comes to your mouse sensitivity uh, focus this doesn't really matter that much but sensitivity you want to make sure that you have enough sensitivity to be able to rotate quickly especially when you're in third person and you're being attacked by uh, multiple opponents but even in first person you kind of need to be able to block or tap block quickly it really helps with saving your stamina so try and find something some setting that really works for you for me this seems to be the sweet spot I can play a little bit lower, a little bit higher, but this seems to be the best. Uh, none of this stuff. Uh, chat, I prefer to have it disabled. So, combat numbers, all this stuff doesn't really matter that much. I'm going to show you some uh, key binding tricks that you can use to help uh, to make it easier for you to play. But basically all of this stuff, uh, not much to talk about. So I'm also not going to talk about gamepad because I don't use that. Audio, this will also depend on your personal preferences. Now when it comes to video, these are the settings that I'm using to get uh, kind of like uh, 60 FPS most of the time. So there's one more thing here, uh, DX12 beta render. I have it disabled, I'm gonna test it out, but I'm not sure if it will help. I mean I have pretty good performance as it is, so I'll just test it out just to see what it does. But basically the settings are like this, uh, native resolution, full screen, make sure that it's in full screen because the game will run a lot better in full screen. Uh, disable smoothing this will help uh, reduce the latency so anything to do with latency when you're playing on a server with high latency or even your game latency uh, basically you want to reduce latency wherever you can because as soon as you go into a server with higher latency you will notice that you will be killing other players much harder and uh, this setting is also pretty good to reduce uh, frame rate latency so make sure you disable that uh, frame rate cap, this depends on your monitor. If your monitor is 60 FPS like mine is, then it makes no sense to push this higher because you will just make your GPU work harder and you won't actually see those extra frames. Uh, first person field of view, this I believe is on the default setting. I tried playing with max and less, this seems to be the sweet spot for me. And video quality is custom. Now when it comes to your resolution scale, if you have uh, a lot of performance issues, you can disable, not disable, uh, reduce this, it will help a lot, but you, your game might be a little bit more blurrier, but if you reduce a little bit, you probably won't see any difference. Now view distance, medium, uh, shadow quality, I tested all the different settings and they do kind of look bad on low, I mean not that bad, but when you're fighting a bunch of players, you're not really going to pay attention to shadows that much and this setting does have uh, a lot of impact on performance so if i put that on <laughs> higher epic then i'm not going to be able to get 60 fps consistently uh, i mean shadow quality now anti-aliasing i haven't really noticed any difference so i keep this on fxaa low now when it comes to textures textures i have it on epic actually because even though i only have four gigs of vram they don't seem to be big in size and this setting doesn't really affect your FPS because it only depends on your VRAM. So if you have enough VRAM to support epic quality textures, then go ahead and put it like that. If you notice any stuttering issues, then decrease to high or even medium. If you have like 3 or 2 gigs of VRAM, I mean 4 gigs of VRAM is probably like the minimum nowadays for 1080p. But it does work with epic, so 
that's what textures texture quality does uh, FX and post processing medium motion blur now this can be important if you're fighting good players I prefer to have this disabled completely because when you're moving around uh, very quickly you can have natural motion blur so you don't need to artificially inflate this uh, gamma ragdoll lifetime I haven't touched that so you can decrease that if you want blood decal all that is fine now ambient corpse quality i have this on off because when i'm playing like with 64 players you will have a lot of corpses on the battlefield anyway so you don't really need that uh, ambient particles this i believe is only for the the intro screens and as i said i'll probably test the dx12 beta renderer but i'll do that later so those are my optimized settings after playing around a lot monitoring uh, VRAM consumption, um, all that stuff, that's what I've settled on, I hope that helps you. And there's a couple of other things that I would like to mention, and that's when it comes to key bindings, if you're playing on PC like I do, there's a couple of things that you can change, at least that I've changed, that made it easier for me to play, and free up some buttons on my keyboard. So for example, one of the good tips that I can give you is to change the toggle third person camera, put it, some, put it on something like left control button because when you're outnumbered you might need to switch quickly to defend better and this has helped me a lot. Now left control is normally for crouch, but since I prefer to crouch with left uh, shift, then I kind of have that button freed up for something else and that's where I put my uh, camera swap and I use ALT, left ALT on my keyboard to <laughs> initiate, stop and record videos, things like that. So it kind of helps to have everything localized, uh, easily reached. Now, another thing that you can do is when it comes to your controls, I'm trying to remember what else I changed to make it easier. Well, I did change the direction from uh, movement input. This did help me uh, not worry too much about uh, pressing ALT with different attacks so that's pretty cool and I guess there's not much else to talk about you can mess around with all those settings but that's the one tip that I can give you is to change the camera swap button and make it easier for yourself to switch to third person especially when you're outnumbered because it does help a lot uh, cancel into parry right mouse button that's a pretty good option as well uh, nothing else here we don't really need the sprint button because we're automatically sprinting so that's why I have the left uh, shift as crouch and I prefer that it's not toggle so if I press it and hold it then I'll stay, stay crouched uh, spacebar for dodging that's uh, that's pretty good I used to have left alt here but spacebar is fine and that's about it I mean there's not much else to say if you have any questions feel free to let me know I hope this quick video helps you and uh, good luck on the battlefield